हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ड्रॉप अ लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट दिस इज श्री विष्णु आर्ट प्रेस पब्लिकेशन एक्सरसाइज नंबर सेवन एंड एट ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ नाइन्टी वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट श्री डब्ल्यू एच खान लर्नड सीनियर एडवोकेट अपियरिंग फॉर द एपेलेंट इन स्पेशल अपील नंबर फोर फोर नाइन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड इलेवन कंटेंडेड दैट द ऑर्डर ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंस्पेक्टर ऑफ स्कूल्स वॉज लाइबल टू बी सेट असाइड ही सबमिट्स दैट दे आर बींग टू राइवल क्लेमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग elections of the committee of management dated 31 10 2010 the district inspector of schools had no jurisdiction to adjudicate the dispute and he was obliged to make a reference to the regional level committee in accordance with the government orders dated 1912 2000 and 2010 2008 he further submits that the order of honorable single judge dated 1 12 2010 by which this court directed the district inspector of schools to reexamine the matter cannot confer jurisdiction on the district inspector of schools which was not otherwise available to him and the district inspector of schools ought to have considered the question as to whether he was competent to decide the dispute or reference to regional level committee was necessary he submits that the order of district inspector of schools dated 11 2 deserves to be set aside by honorable single judge and honorable single judge erred in not setting aside the said order sri shashi nandan assisted by sri Arun Kumar Singh appearing for the respondents submitted that the district inspector of schools had full jurisdiction to decide the dispute he submits that according to the government order dated 2010 2008 the district inspector of schools has been conferred with the jurisdiction to determine the claim of elections of committee of management and the order dated 11 2 was well within his jurisdiction he further submits that the red petitioner did not raise any objection to the jurisdiction of the district inspector of schools when the matter was being heard he further submits that in writ petition filed by the writ petitioner challenging the order of district inspector of schools dated 3 11 2010 no ground was taken that district inspector of schools had no jurisdiction to determine the dispute he submits that in view of the directions of this court dated 1 12 the district inspector of schools has to determine the dispute and writ petitioner is not stopped from challenging the jurisdiction of district inspector of schools the submissions of learned counsel for the parties center around to the issue as to whether in the facts of the present case the dispute of rival claims of management could have been decided by the district inspector of schools or it was necessary 
for the district inspector of schools to refer the dispute before the regional level committee before we proceed to examine the above issue it is relevant to note the relevant provisions of the up intermediate education act 1921 as amended from time to time as well as the government orders issued by the state government the district inspector of schools under the statutory provisions of the up intermediate education act 1921 and under the up high school and intermediate college act 1971 had to perform various statutory functions in collaboration with the committee of management the petitioner was appointed as lecturer in mathematics in the institute of engineering and rural technology allahabad on 6th september 1983 The petitioner's wife Dr Sarita Srivastava joined as lecturer in Sanskrit in the Rajshri Tandon Mahila Mahavidyalaya on 31st March 1989 both the petitioners were receiving house rent allowance from their respective institutions till January 1996 when the house rent allowance of petitioner's wife was stopped by the principal on the ground that she is not entitled to receive the same since her husband is already receiving the house rent allowance the petitioner gave in writing that the house rent allowance to the petitioner be not paid and the house rent allowance to the petitioner's wife be restored with effect from march 1996 the house rent allowance of the petitioner was stopped and that of his wife was restored with effect from march 1996 The petitioner submitted a representation on 17th February 1997 to the director IERT seeking payment of house rent allowance as well as arrears of house rent allowance on the strength of the division bench judgment of this court in the case of dr maya rani srivastava versus director higher education up allahabad and others air 1998 sc 157 the petitioner submitted reminders the director iert by order dated 5th september 1997 directed for payment of house rent allowance to the petitioner in pursuance of which the joint director technical education varanasi started payment of house rent allowance to the petitioner from october 1997 the petitioner thereafter submitted another representation for payment of arrears of house rent allowance from march 1996 to september 1997 on such representation of the petitioner the director technical education wrote to the state government seeking appropriate direction for stopping the house rent allowance of the petitioner in the reference letter dated 11th july 2000 of the director technical education it was stated that when husband and wife both are residing in the same city and in the same house both are not entitled for house rent allowance and the judgment of this court in dr maya rani's case supra k 
कैन नॉट बी अप्लाइड इन ऑल मैटर्स द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट रोट अ लेटर ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड टू द डायरेक्टर टेक्निकल एजुकेशन आफ्टर रिसीविंग विच लेटर द डायरेक्टर टेक्निकल एजुकेशन इश्यूड एन ऑर्डर डेटेड टेंथ नवम्बर टू थाउजेंड फॉर स्टॉपिंग द पेमेंट ऑफ हाउस रेंट अलाउंस to the petitioner and for taking steps for recovery of irregularly paid house rent allowance to the petitioner and further to submit a report of responsible official in that regard this writ petition has been filed by the petitioner challenging the aforesaid order in the counter affidavit filed by the state it was stated that in view of the clear policy of the state that if husband and wife both are in the government service the house rent allowance is not payable to both of them hence the order issued were perfectly in accordance with law and petitioner was not entitled for payment of house rent allowance